so 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 and grow 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 guys today we are going to be harvesting peppers guys so um we have some banana peppers some blondie peppers and we have some green bell peppers so let's see who grew out here in my five by five garden bed and also let's see what else grew out here but we're going to be harvesting peppers today guys it's all about the peppers let's go all right guys we out in my five by five garden bed all the greens collard greens and then you got some dinosaur kales growing up in here looking good as you guys can see no holes so she looks pretty good she looks pretty good i do need to harvest and i will harvest the next time i'm off i'm not off today so we can't do that today but we'll harvest on the next day i'm off all right i did want to show you guys my eggplant that finally 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 grew i don't know what's all right guys so these are all the banana peppers that we collected we harvested correct term harvested <laughs> Lots of banana peppers in here. And I have so many in the freezer. I took some to my supervisor. She puts them in all her, a lot of her soups and stuff like that. So now we're going to try to harvest these, what we can. Looks like we can harvest maybe two of the blondie bells. I mean, they're not really looking great. Maybe two or three. They're really not looking that awesome, especially the way they've been growing, but Hey, they're edible, so we're going to eat them. Okay, so we got like one there, one down here. You guys can see. Uh, I'm just going to leave this one. I don't know what's going on. And then we got one down there. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys. We're right there. All right, so because I'm doing this by hand, with one hand, I'm going to so we can break it off. Let's see if we can break it off. Break it off. Look at that. Beautiful. Come on. Uh, we're gonna let her grow. Those grow. Let's sit up this one back here. This looks like a big enough one. There we go. She just popped up. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful those are. Gorgeous. Okay. Got two. Um, I think I'm going to let this one finish growing. This one finish growing. There's a few more in here that needs to be finished growing. And this one down there. So I'm going to let those grow, all right, guys? So now we're going to move on to... Oh, gosh. Let's get that. That's no good. I don't like to see food that's bitten off of like that. The bugs has really been loving those peppers. <laughs> all right. So it looks like we have two green bell peppers that I grew from seed. I'm excited for, guys. Look at that. There's one. And there's two. And I grew this from seed. And I'm happy. It really look good. Let's take that off. Look, look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Nice and green. Beautiful. Let's put it right there. And let's see if this one will twist off. Like the other one. Nope. Okay. All right. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful. Alright, and let's see if we need to take some of these off, because I don't like them so big. Yeah, that one's huge. That's another banana pepper. Wow, look at that. And this is what I'm talking about, about turning purple. You see the purpleness on there? It's a lot of them are turning purple, so I'm not sure if these are supposed to be purple, because I don't know, it seems like this year... The uh, gardening community, well, the whoever's growing vegetables or whatever seeds. That, I mean, I don't know. They was doing something. I don't know. Hi, trying to make hybrids and stuff. I'm not sure what they were doing, but I would like to know so I know what kind of food I'm growing. So that's why you need to start really actually harvesting your seeds and saving your seeds. Because this could happen and you don't know you have a different type of variety of vegetable. Let's 
So I'm just gonna peek in here to see if there's any more in here. Looks like there's no more. I mean, there's some more left, but now look how purple this one is, guys. See how dark purple that is? And then it's still green. This is what I'm talking about. So like, I don't know. This one's even got that purple in on it. So I'm not sure about that. The package said yellow bananas <laughs> and they're turning purple. Maybe that's what they do. I'm not sure. So that is my whole five by five garden bed, guys. Next time I'm off, which will be Monday, I will be doing a harvest of these greens and kales. Um, you know, <laughs> those holidays coming up, so I've been freezing these, cutting them down, chopping them down, and my beautiful eggplant, which I'm really excited about. She is beautiful. Hope you guys can see it, because I can't see right now because of the sun. There we go. All right, and then my last little, I'm surprised he's hanging on in there, but she is. As you guys can see, I took all the corn out. I'm really not certain when you're supposed to harvest corn because my corn started, it corned, but it started turning, like the leaves started turning yellow instead of green, like they were almost done. So I'll show you that in a moment when I go inside, guys. But look how awesome that basket looks. Tell me that basket doesn't look good. That's a beautiful basket of peppers. All right, so we're back in the house, guys. This is the corn that I had harvested. So you guys can see, this is the color that started turning. Like, I wasn't sure if I was late or what, but I go one to open. As you guys can see, it did some corn, and it did definitely corn on me. So, um, this is how it turned out. <laughs> All right, you guys want to see the good, the bad, and the ugly? Well, there you go. The good, the bad, and the ugly corn. Let me put my hand the right way. Look how that grew. Nothing on this side. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -mm. What's going on, guys, with these vegetables this year? What's really going on? All right, guys, now before we go outside, <laughs> I want to show you guys uh, how my garden's been looking, what it's been doing, especially having really been paying attention to it because I've been really, really working hard, really hard, too many hours. I do need to take a break, and that's what the garden's for, is to take a break and rewind, but I haven't had a chance to do that. But I do want to show you the things that's growing and what's not growing. All right, so let's go out here. All right, so here's an overview of what everything looks like around here. Just look at it. A hot mess. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly, as you guys want to see. Here it is, all for you guys to see. And you're not paying attention, hush. Of course, that's my dog, Ivory. She's always got to make sure she's in the videos. So, let's look over here. Start in this section. <laughs> we'll give you some good. So, I do have some little watermelons growing up. As you guys will see, I have a baby teeny one there. She's hanging on. She's still hanging on. As you guys can see, it's still green. Then there's one there. Look how beautiful it is. I don't think they're going to grow much bigger. I mean, they're going to get a little bigger, but not too much bigger. These here, I got these from Amazon. I would not recommend this type of food in, to grow in them, like to, to trellis in them. Maybe some long beans, some peas or something like that. But watermelon, not so much. Or um, squash for that matter. Don't do any of those. At least if you get these watering, wicked baskets, don't get that, alright? You can put, like, I got a banana plant in here and I'm surprised it's growing with the watermelon. The watermelon popped up because I put the banana plant in here. So, but that's what that water, um, the banana plants look like. Banana plants are very resilient. They'll keep growing for you. They love water. Um, so, yeah, that's just what she's looking like. I'm not sure what kind of watermelon this is. I've been planting so many seeds. None of them came up except these. So, I'm just going to leave them. 
Um, looks like we're at the end of the tomato almost season. We have a couple of tomatoes back here grow finish. They're trying to finish growing. But nothing to scream at or about. Um, I forget what was in here. I pulled it. It didn't do anything. This is a banana. Oh, this is a pepper plant. And I don't know where my sign is. It's one of those. I need to pull. I need to harvest these. Marconis. I think that's what these are. So I'm going to harvest those. I'm going to do y'all. I'm going to come over here to this poor, poor tomato plant. As you guys can see. If you guys are having problems with your tomato plants that are not even growing, let me know those. Let me know in the comments because mine's they're growing, but they're not doing anything. Okay, certain ones are, but this there's a lot that I have that's just growing, just growing. Okay, so if you guys have tomato plants that are just growing, no plants, no flower. I mean, no flowers, no fruit. Let me know in the comments and let me know what I should do about that. All right. All right, now this baby here is finally trying to do something. Um, I took it out of there, out of my compost, because I've seen it growing in here. And I just threw it in there. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It might be a cabbage or something. I don't know. So I just let it grow in there. I just let it grow. She'll give it some type of food, right? She's growing healthy. Now these guys, <laughs> I know, they're too big probably. But these are, up. Oh, one's laying over. Let's fill. Nope. You can know, you, you can, you, you know these are bulbs by touching right here. And still kind of hard. They're not soft. This one looks like, I don't know what happened. This was one of those re regrow onions. But these are those, uh, what, scallion onions. You could just chop and just plant or water, put in water and they just keep growing. Um, comebacks, that's what I call them, chopping comebacks. So, but this one, it was a regrown onion, so, um, she might be still good in the bottom. So, we're going to leave it because it's still hard. This is another one of those shallots from the Dollar Tree. And she's grown big. Wow. So, I'm going to let her do her. Okay, guys. Now, this green stalk, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just look at her. She's just a mess. She still got my prism kales growing, though. Um, these tomato plants I've seen somewhere in, a, in my garden. Just pulled them and put them in here. Um, the mint is dying back. More tomato plants. More tomato plant. The mint is uh, it's just looking crazy, right and scary. Down in this area, like I said, these are um cabbages i would not recommend growing cabbages in these containers because they take forever they really really take forever so i'm just gonna finish letting them grow hopefully they're they sh i think they're cool crop or something like a cool crop or something like that a winter crop or something but we're gonna see how that goes i did have broccoli down here and she did go to seed on me she just growing these leaves now as you guys can see I mean, if you be getting dizzy, but there she is. But those are my cabbages we're going to see. They're trying to form heads, it looks like. So, we're going to see how they grow. So, so far, I don't like this method. But that doesn't mean I will, won't like this method after the end result. So, we'll see how that goes. But they are starting to form heads, all right? And my prism kale is looking wonderful. Um, the strawberries are starting to die back. But the prism kale is looking good. All right, guys. I don't know if you guys want to go into this monstrosity here. <laughs> but we're going to go into it. And get into it. Um, before we go into this, look at this fig, guys. This poor fig tree. <sighs> She's been going through a lot of changes. I have not gotten any figs out of any of my fig trees yet. I don't know if this is the area. You really have to know your area to know what you really can grow and what will grow. Everything will grow, but not fruit, okay? So you have to know your area for that. Just looks a mess. Just looks a mess. All this needs to be thrown out. All this needs to be thrown out. Thrown out. This is a peach tree. Yep. 
contender. Okay, that is my yellow tree, apple tree there. They're starting to grow new leaves, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, blueberries and pink blue, lemonade blueberries there. And, uh, pink ones never grew anything. The blueberries did. This is another peach. I know this is a plum tree that never gave me anything. That's been had for three years. Oh, we'll get into this in a moment. This, I forget what this was. <laughs> I don't even know what this was. Oh, potatoes. That I tried to regrow again. I don't know. It just looks a mess in here, guys. Look how scary it looks. Of course, guys, you already know this was where my beans were. Here, and it looks scary. And then <clears throat> all that pollen. You see all that pollen? So, and back here. These were blueberries, I guess, growing in there. But they're, um, now, my pink lady, she's trying to heal. <gasps> Ah, my boyfriend did take that app. I mean, that that one off. I told, he said that. I knew it. He took my only apple pear off of this tree. Oh, I'm so upset with him. If you only see one there, why would you take the only one? Oh, gosh. He took it off and ate it. Like, we were all going to supposed to at least get a piece of that so we could taste it. Oh, wow. Now things just started to pop out out here. Um, that's my little Mr. Stripey. He needs to be. And that is another tomato plant that's not grown anything on it but leaves, foliage. Okay. These are my sweet potatoes, and it looks like I have a flower on my sweet potato. Yes. All right, so a lot of people say, like me, I've said it for a while, for two years, I had never seen flowers on sweet potatoes. How would I know, how I know if they're grown or not? But guys, this is my first year seeing it. And there is a flower on my sweet potato. Let me show you guys, this is a sweet potato. Look at that. Look at that, that's a sweet potato. So this is the second one I've seen. And the flowers indicate that they're almost ready. They got flat, look at that, more. It's going to be coming up. So we will be doing the harp. Oh, no. She fell down in here. That's what happened. Ugh, look at that. Uh, let's put this in the compost. Ugh. Okay, so she's ready to come off. So like I said, there's a lot going on back here. A whole lot. A whole lot. Um, what's going on over here? My long beans is growing inside my tree. Oh, she done wrapped all the way around up in here, honey. She done playing. Look at this. Look at this. She's wrapped all the way around in here. Let's get you down, honey. She don't belong over. Oh, my goodness. Gracious. Where is you going? Let's put you back down in here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> she was not playing, honey. She was going somewhere. Okay. So. Those are my long beans that are starting to still grow, so that's good. This the stripy tomatoes doing nothing but growing leaves. This surprised me. This is another uh, lemon cuke. This is another lemon cucumber. Um, I'm not sure about this taste. I'm going to have to let the, I let one grow bigger than this. I taste that. I'm not sure. It tastes like it's more of a saltier taste. I'm not sure if it's just me. You guys let me know in the comments. But yeah, so I find that one shocked me. Then I do have a nice watermelon, guys. Look how beautiful. So I'm excited for those too. That one shocked me though. But this also shocked me as well because guys, if you ever wanted to see and want to know, if you've never seen them, that's what a sweet potato flower looks like. And let me get a picture of that. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so this is another scallion got stuck down in there. <laughs> She's doing nothing. All right, and these are my um, 
<sighs> Things are biting me. Right I don't know if anything is going to on this. But she's down there. Cantaloupe. I couldn't get the word out at first. Cantaloupe. So we're going to see. She's growing, but we don't know, right? What she's really doing. So there she is. This is my Oli garden bed. If you guys want one of these beautiful beds, you can interchange over 21 times, different sizes, different shapes. Go look at my description in the bottom below and um, my description box, and you'll find Oli beds. And also, you'll get a discount, all right? Along with that, you give me a little percentage, which will help the channel, and I do appreciate it and grade it. So Oli beds, if you want one, look at my description box below and get your discount. As you can see, all the food I have in here. All right, let's pass on to these grapes. As you guys can see, the struggle has been real, guys. The struggle has been real. I can't even keep half this food in here. The struggle has been real. The struggle has been real. So you got some grapes, no grapes. Um, That's what she looks like. All my pears fell off now. By now, I'm pretty sure there's mint back there somewhere. All right. This right here. Love, love, love. This visit Sun's compost. If you want a compost bin like that, look how that spins great. Look at that. And it mixes everything very well. If you want one of these visit Sun's uh, compost bins, look at my description box, guys. Of course, I have a code for you guys, a discount code. So look in there, get you one. These are really, really good. You can take one hand. Look at this one hand. And just flip. Look at that. See that? So really, really good. So every time I come out here, I can spin it once or twice. And everything else looks crazy, all right? We're not going to say everything looks good because nothing looks good out here. This is good, bad, and ugly. This is real life. This is what you guys want to see. I know you guys always see in the beautiful gardens. Nobody's really telling you what's the real deal. <laughs> you want the real deal? Here you go. This is the real deal. Now, on this side over here, I have not seen any sweet potato... Uh, Sweet potato. I'm sorry, guys. I don't even know where I cut off at, but I was saying if you guys want the good, the bad, and the ugly, well, here you go. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is what you want to see. I know a lot of people show you those beautiful gardens and stuff. Guess what? We all start out with beautiful gardens. All right? So, this is the good, and bad, and ugly. Like I said, I do get a few tomatoes, but not many. All right? So there's aroma tomatoes. This is how small they've been growing. So I don't know if they're supposed to be this small. I'm not really sure about aroma tomatoes, but there's one there. I have a whole bag full of these in the freezer. So I'm trying to preserve everything I can get. All right. It looks crazy back here. Can I wait till like fall gets here so I can start cleaning everything out? Doing some more research and planning a little better. Okay, especially for my grapes, cause girls, Guys, look at this. This is a mess. You know, there's your raisins right there. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. Looks scary and crazy. So, like I said, we might be doing the harvest soon on our sweet potatoes over here. Um, This is just a mess. I don't even know. This is just weed that's grew out. Look at that. Look at that. Whew, it's hot out here today, baby. Let's use the degrees today, there you go. 90, it's about almost 95 degrees out here, guys. Whoa. <sighs> it's hot. All right, guys. Good, bad, and ugly. You guys want to see it. There it is. Remember, guys, let's grow together. So we can eat together. So guys, this is my harvest, guys. And I wanted you guys to see my harvest. One little teeny tomato, and it's okay. It's okay, she's still beautiful. All right, so we got some banana peppers here, sweet banana peppers, all right? Then we have two blondie bells, and we have some green bell peppers. And I'm really still on the fence about these peppers. Are they supposed to be purple? 
What's going on? Like, you were trying to hybrid or what was you trying to do? But I'm still going to eat them regardless.